Hey there, it's Ricky, and I've already filmed this video, and yikes, it was like 50 minutes worth of footage because I literally just started talking about like how I got him and just read through my journal. Super boring, no one else to hear about that. You want to hear what the title's about, so let me just get right into it. I've only had Pete, <laughs> sorry, I feel like I'm not a YouTuber if I don't have super long introductions that no one cares about, so today I went, no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Just low key roasted myself. Um, um, I need to stop saying, um, it makes me want to die. Let me check if I'm recording. Hold on. So basically, um, I got Pete around April, April 3rd, I think. I don't know, I haven't remembered. It's just the things right here, probably. And this happened only like literally not even a month of having him, maybe a month actually. But, I basically thought it was a great idea to go out onto the street, the pretty busy street. Um, I don't know what time it was, because it's really busy when people are coming home from work, so like 5, 5.30. Yeah, I thought it'd be a great idea to go out bareback and bridleless, um, well not bridleless, bitless, uh, which I do right now. I do bitless and stuff because bits. I can never challenge someone to a fight and be all cool and be like, because my, my knuckles just, I'll just be like, so cool. Anyways, basically, uh, I haven't done any like preconditioning with uh, bitless and stuff, and that was around the time that I still thought bits were okay because I didn't know any better. It was like, oh, everyone does it. Okay, cool, bits are okay. Uh, Cause the reason why I was writing was just I can't shoot a video without camera dying or running out of footage halfway through or literally right at the beginning so um the reason that I did have him just in a halter was because I didn't have a bit and the reason that I was bareback was because we didn't have a saddle yet because you know I just got him and um, we didn't know what bit would like fit him correctly or whatever and the same thing with the saddle but I thought it would be a great idea to, even though the day before, like I, I've said in my journal, I have a journal all about this, uh, saying that the day before, just me walking him with like lead rope out there, I went like pretty far, I went like a block down and then came back. He was super nervous, so one, I wasn't experienced and didn't know what I was doing. Uh, two, because if I didn't know what I was doing, I'd be doing what I am now and just taking him down the driveway. Also, I'm really not going to take him anywhere on roads because it's just so dangerous and I, nope, but down the driveway is fine because you can see if there's people coming, people that come into the boarding facility have enough respect that they will stop because they do it too, so, um, plus it's not that much big of a driveway or that long of a driveway that they can, like, speed, I mean, they can, but then you have to turn. Anyways, <laughs> so I took him out, I just walked him down, brought my helmet because, of course, you know, if I put a helmet on, I'm safe. I asked my mom, hey, can I get on him? Uh, keep in mind that I've only had him for a month. Yes, I've been riding for two and a half years, like before I got him. And um, it's just, oh my God. So I get on him and I remember saying, and my mom saying, this crop duster zoomed by and scared him. I don't remember a crop duster at all. That's just what my mom said, is that she saw a crop duster or heard a crop duster. I did not hear anything or see anything. I just went along with my mom did because I just thought at the time I was just way too ah uh, but I think <laughs> I don't think but there's a bunch of um things that I could have thought of if I had more experience and I knew what I was doing. I'm just so glad I'm still here and he's still okay. It still lets me get on his back because if I had a crazy stupid uneducated person go on my back and bring me out into a dangerous area road I wouldn't want uh, him or her getting back on my back again. One, I didn't condition him in an arena where he's more comfortable because for 18 years he was a cow horse or like a roping horse um, uh, in an arena and where in a, like a controlled area, you know? Uh, two, I never really introduced him to me riding him on a halter except for about like 10 or 15 minutes that I did in a arena before when my dad told me to get off because he wasn't there he was working but my dad my mom called him and was like hey she's running with a halter and the thing bareback is that okay he said no get off I got really upset and then I, I don't know why my dad doesn't 
didn't like hold this against me for that long probably because i broke my ankle <laughs> and he felt bad but why would he feel i wouldn't feel bad i'd be like i told you not to so yeah, i didn't really condition him first three uh I, he was nervous the day before just on the ground what makes you think me getting on him bareback with a mom that doesn't know much about horses really bitless like and i'm not saying i'm definitely not saying that like if i had a bit in his mouth it pretty much would be the same thing it may be worse he would probably start bucking or something because i'm holding back on the reins so hard and it's creating pain in his mouth and pain with fear doesn't mix i don't know why a lot of horse people don't understand that uh same thing with spurs you kick him in the freaking ribs with these spiky spurs or whatever you want to call them Anyways, what was I talking about? Another factor was that I just, I was nervous myself because I've never gone on him on a trail, but I had a helmet on. That's another factor. I had a helmet on, so I thought I was safe. You know, I have no problem with helmets, really. I have problem about the whole crop duster thing. It was really just me being nervous, me starting to pull back on the reins, which makes him collect and brace against the reins um, if I wanted him to not but this is the thing is that we were on road and if I were to turn him into a thing he would trip or something because he was super ah uh, and I just didn't want to risk that but I did a stupid thing by pulling back on both the reins which makes him brace and he bolted basically this is probably the fastest I've ever been on a horse was that time he was probably going at almost a full gallop i I don't know, maybe it was just the day, maybe he was just loping. Kidding, he I know he wasn't loping because um, it was just a whole different feeling and it literally felt like I was flying, but flying, being very scared. For the first part that he spooked for about like two blocks, I remember just looking down at his neck and being like, well, this is this is how it ends. I just, yeah, I, I noticed that I was just screaming, which is making it worse. So I just like swallowed and looked down and what well, was the scary part is, is that if he wanted to, and he was super confused and didn't know where the barn was, he could have just kept running, and if he kept running, he would have went into the highway. Eventually, I mean, you could keep going, and then he wouldn't get into the highway, but that would get into, like, all these fast food chains, and, uh, but that would be, like, three or four more blocks, but he tried to turn, I remember seeing that 30 miles per hour sign and being like, well, I'm probably going over that, and, like, kind of laugh to myself, because I was just like, I, I'm kind of helpless right now, because I can't turn him anywhere without him slipping and falling and both of us getting hurt. You know, I'm so glad there weren't any cars on that road because holy crap, that would absolutely, I don't know how I would deal with that if he were to get very, really hurt, basically. God, okay. Um, but basically he tried, here's the driveway and here's the hedge. There's like a bunch of hedges. And there's really no grass around, even though we're out in the country. On this road, there's really nowhere that I can fall that's not going to break everything. <laughs> he notices, because he's on this side of the road, and he can't take that really sharp turn. So instead, he goes to the next one. There's this very small little like little bend of grass, and then the driveway that these people have. And that's where I fall, is right next to this tree. And I remember like just screaming, and I thought I was paralyzed, because you know, that's where I kind of fractured my tailbone or at least messed it up more than it already was because a few years back before this I was roller skating up at the school and I fell right on my tailbone so if you see any videos of me riding on my uh, Instagram you're like wow she has bad EQ oh my goodness it's because I'm still getting over um, my whole tailbone issue I finally was like hey maybe I should get physical therapy anyways <laughs> but I remember just screaming and cursing and all that my mom's running down the street to um, you know get to me and I remember looking up after I'm done screaming so I'm like you know, what, what is that going to do? It's not going to do anything. And I look up and I don't know what Pete was doing. Um, I'm really glad he didn't think of me as the threat. Because if he thought of me as like a predator or something, he easily could have killed me right there. He could have, you know, reared up and just, you know, saved himself. But, you know, horses rather um, flight than fight. So, um, unless they're trapped. And he wasn't trapped. There was, you know, plenty of places to go, but he was like a few meters away from me and he, um, like put his head down. It was so amazing. Like, it was probably nothing. He's probably, 
I, I don't know, but I just remember um, he looked so scared, but he put his head down next to me and kind of just like looked at me and I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like at the time I was just like, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea. I'm so sorry. I didn't say this, of course, but um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's basically what happened. And he ran back to the barn and my friend Tori and the lady I board at saw that here comes Pete with no rider and they were like oh no <laughs> and my mom comes up I ask her the first thing I say is sorry because she could hear me cur hear me cursing because I was so young back then I was like I'm so sorry I asked did you get that on video because <laughs> think of how cool that would be if like I had it on video now I could just like show it here but like what mom in the right mind is gonna be like oh my my daughter's getting ads is you know look at my camera and the ambulance came and the guy put stuff in my arms and I was like super loopy I don't know why I think it was the, the trauma and I remember looking up at him and being like what's your name <laughs> like and he just said you can call me Bob and I was like hi Bob and then I don't know what happened after that I kind of blanked out but um yeah so I broke my left ankle it's still pretty messed up I'll probably show you a video or like I'll show you after this video um how messed up it is so yeah that was the time I did something stupid with Pete three years ago yay <laughs> yeah if you're if you're a new horse rider don't ever do that and the reason I'm doing this is um and I don't care if there's a bunch of people telling me I'm stupid because I'll disagree with them I, I will agree with them <laughs> but I want to do this because I don't want you know, I want to put my mistakes out there as well as my accomplishments or whatever. So, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'm going to predict I will have this up by Sunday. So it's the 18th today, 19th, 20th. So I'll have it March 20th. May 20th, that's what I meant. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for watching, um, and I will like, subscribe, all that stuff that YouTubers say at the end of the videos, and I will see you in the next video. I'll leave you to a suggestions, either on my Instagram, or down there. <gasps> Goodbye. Okay, so we got this mascara, that's the one I put down my thing, after it dies or runs out of footage thing, then I can just put it back exactly where it is. Here is so you can't hear the lamp. Can you hear it? Anyways, it makes a weird buzzing sound. So I put this here so we can like kind of not have that there. Then I have my graduation unicorn holding that stack up. Then we have my transparent shirt with some of these things around it so that it doesn't burn the shirt and doesn't have direct contact. And it's on a- oh geez, I almost crushed that. And I got my tack box over there because that's the next video I'm going to do. My tax box stuff, stuff, see it. <laughs>